Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, as you may have already seen in a previous video, um, we were successful in getting pregnant with our first month of trying. Uh, I used OPKs, which are ovulation predictor kits or tests. Um, I just use the simple little internet cheapies and I do have a video for that too on how I read the results and how I use them and, and sort of what we did uh, to help make that successful in conjunction with OPKs. But even still, it's been several days now since I found out that I'm pregnant for the third time. Um, and I still want to say, even with using the OPKs, I am pretty, I'm pretty shocked. I don't know. Not shocked. I was surprised and happy because I didn't want to get my hopes up too much. You know, you don't want to believe that you could actually get it the first try. You know, trying implies that it'll take a little while and that's to be expected and just don't get your hopes up too high. Um, but I tested a few days before my missed period and and I got a positive result. I got several positive results and then right after I recorded that video I did immediately go tell my husband because even though I didn't have one of those cool digital um, pregnancy tests that say pregnant or not pregnant on it, I did have a clear blue with like the plus or minus sign and I had a very clear plus sign on there. So I figured I would go ahead and show him and what's funny is as expected, um, his reaction, he was still asleep by the way, um, but his reaction was like, are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? You know, he's still looking at the plus sign and I was like, honey, look, look at, it says pregnant plus sign, not pregnant, just a minus sign. And you can clearly see a plus. He was like, well, it's a little faint. Like, are, are you sure? And then I told him, well, I took another test, one of those internet cheap ones. And I got a second line on that too. So I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, so he's not the most exciting person to tell that I'm pregnant. Um, the same thing happened with my second pregnancy with my second daughter. Um, I called him into the bathroom. I woke him up, called him into the bathroom. I think we had a similar test, a, a plus sign. And he even, he wanted to see the instructions, you know, and read those and then kept looking at the test and the instructions as if trying to figure it out when it seems pretty clear. So he's not one to go and get super hyped. Um, or I won't say happy. No, he is happy. He's just not one to get super like, ah, you know, and start jumping up and down or do anything crazy. Um, but now it's been a couple days and now he really is excited. He's just one that kind of keeps it in. And then as days progress, his excitement starts to come out. Like last night, he couldn't wait to tell the kids. We had previously decided that we would wait a little while before telling anyone, including the kids. But he was like, let's just go ahead and tell the kids. Can I tell the kids? Can I tell the kids? Are you okay with it? And then I finally, I wish I would recorded it, by the way. But I finally said, if you want to, you can tell them. But we have to tell them it's a secret. And then, so he stood up and everything at the dinner table and said, guys, I have an announcement. Mommy? And then he, like, dramatic pause, is pregnant. <laughs> and he was pretty excited to announce that. And apparently... He texted me earlier and and um, told me that he'd already spoken to his boss in the HR department about parental leave when the time comes. And I was kind of like, you know, I texted back. I was like, well, it's a little early. He's like, well, I didn't tell anyone else because you want to keep it a secret because apparently he wants to tell more coworkers. Um, but I told him to try to hold himself back and to definitely not tell his mom. Um, and not tell all the neighbors because we're going to a trash community um, cleanup this Saturday. <clears throat> and I told him at the potluck, you know, don't be announcing it to everyone in the whole world. You know, even though I think he really wants to. He had initially was totally on board with keeping a secret. But now he seems like he wants to tell the world. And I'm happy with just us knowing for now. And YouTube. But... Nobody that I know regularly watches YouTube or 
would even be able to find my channel because no one knows I have channels. I have two channels, by the way. But, um, so yeah. But, so today, though, I just wanted to do my first pregnancy update because it has been a couple days since I took the test and I took it early, but today I actually turned four weeks. Um, and I just wanted to talk to you guys about my symptoms and what I'm feeling and just a four week, you know, update. Um, so as far as turning four weeks goes, um, I don't have any symptoms. <laughs> uh, I know that a lot of people are able to spot symptoms even before, like a week before they test positive, but that's, that's never been me. So I didn't really worry about it or try to symptom spot too much. Um, cause I have no symptoms usually until I'm, um, I don't know, six weeks in minimum, but with my first, it wasn't even until, uh, seven, maybe eight weeks in. Like with my first, I started getting sick around seven to eight-ish weeks, and then with my second, I think it was six weeks when I started feeling symptoms and nausea. But, you know, right now I have no symptoms. I'm four weeks, and, and the only symptom that I've been able to come up with or maybe two symptoms is one, my face is clear for the most part. Usually when I'm this close to my period, my face is a complete mess with acne, but my face is clear. Um, and I'm usually pretty lucky with my face staying generally clear when I'm pregnant. So I guess that would be counted as a symptom. And then also maybe fatigue, maybe. Um, Cause the other day, day before yesterday, I slept almost all day long and I felt bad because it was actually a sunny and warm day. Um, but I was so tired. It was like I couldn't wake up. And then yesterday though, I felt like I had more energy and I just took an afternoon nap. And then today I feel pretty energetic right now, but that could change after I eat. But I don't want to say yet that that's a hard and fast for sure symptom for me because you know, half the week, I do take a nap um, in the afternoons when my kids are watching a movie um, because I'm tired. I wake up really early and I have a lot of animals to take care of and I homeschool and I'm generally pretty active and and so it's not uncommon for me to want to lay down in the afternoon when my kids watch their afternoon movie and I usually chill out and watch videos on my phone and and end up falling asleep usually. So I don't know if that's a symptom yet. I don't know. So the clear face for sure. And then maybe fatigue. But other than that, I mean, I feel pretty normal. Um, it's almost a little scary. I think when you don't get symptoms and you're like, I feel so normal is something wrong. But then I have to remind myself personally that I have no symptoms until I'm a few weeks after I get my positive test, then the symptoms start coming in. Um, I generally don't get sore boobs or or anything like that. Um, my main symptom with my previous pregnancies, my main symptom has been nausea. And my nausea is off the charts bad. Um, it's not hyperemesis or anything where I can't stop vomiting, but I gag from the time I wake up until I go to bed at night. Um, and I've actually my last two pregnancies, I was able to figure out a way to kind of keep that under wraps and keep people from knowing that I was gagging, but I could say, be sitting here talking to you and you'll hear me cough half a dozen times where, Hey, you know, how are you doing? <coughs> um, you know, I had a great day. The weather is beautiful. <coughs> and then, you know, continue the conversation like that. And people usually just think I have a, some sort of cough, but the truth is I've learned to gag, but cough as a cover up while I'm doing it. I don't know how to explain it because otherwise I'd be talking and I'd be, you know, how have you been today? <clears throat> um, I read this book recently and it was really good, <clears throat> you know, and that just looks worse. So yeah, I've learned to cover up that, but basically for me, I mean, it's pretty miserable up until 14 weeks or so, I'm gagging and feeling constantly nauseous, constantly, um, from sun up to sundown. The only relief I ever get, or with my past two, has been when I'm asleep, and it's pretty awful. But I did learn that I have to eat 
and that will give me about 30 seconds of reprieve. Every time I take a bite and swallow, um, I get about a 30 second reprieve of not feeling nauseous, just feeling normal. And so I learned that I just need to eat really frequently and always have something to sip on or, or bite into or whatever. But nothing like that yet. Again, it's very early. Um, I have two pregnancy apps downloaded on my phone. I think there, one of them is called Glow Nurture and the other one is called Ovia. And so I'm just going back and forth and reading those. Although there's not much to read about yet. Literally, uh, the little thing I have inside me right now is looks nothing like a baby of any sort. Uh, it's this little nearly microscopic clump. You know, I've been calling it clumpy for the past day or so um, because that's all that it is right now. It's just like a little rapidly dividing, growing clump that's firmly, hopefully firmly implanted into the wall of my uterus and, and it's growing. And that's about all it is right now. Although it was cute, I showed my five-year-old a picture. She said, I want to see the picture of the baby right now. So I showed her this picture. It was like this purple glob cell thing. And she went, "Oh." So that was kind of cute. But apparently right now it's just the size of a poppy seed. Um, the app that I have, Ovia, lets you choose the theme for your growing baby, like funny fruits and vegetables. You can compare them to. Um, the theme that I chose is funny and unusual animals. So apparently, um, right now my little baby is the size of a water bear, which is some sort of microscopic water creature that can survive the vacuums of space or something. I don't know. It's really funny. So yeah, I'm sorry. That's all that I have to update you with today. Um, but nothing's really going on. Um, I could show you my belly, but really there's nothing to show there either. So I didn't really want to show that, you know, right now because nothing much is going on. No symptoms. Little baby thing isn't very big yet, but I will definitely be on the lookout and I will keep you guys updated. So make sure to subscribe if you want to keep getting updates on my little mountain tiny clumpy baby right now. Um, so yeah, I uh, hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you again soon.